Uh, Will is going to clean our heat pump this morning. Uh, he's with Mac Heat Pumps. Uh, and it's been about four years. Oh, it is. So there are two screws on top. And then you just pull these two little tabs down right here. And then the, you just gently pull out and it pops right off. Oh, very good. So that's the uh, kind of the uh, front cover. There we go. And then, they, and then there's five screws that take this piece off. Okay. One right here on this side. And then there's four on this side over here. Two of them are on the outside. And then one, or one is the electrical cover. Oh. But there's actually another screw that holds the housing on underneath the electrical cover in this little corner right here. Oh. If you uh, don't take the electrical cover off and you're wondering why it's not coming off and oh. there's that screw underneath. And then with uh, with these with this unit, you can just grab the bottom right here and just pop pop this out, and then just pull upward gently, and it uh, pops right out. Oh, very good. The hooks that to have these little plastic hooks right here that hook up on the side of the unit. Okay. And it uh, helps catch all the water that uh, goes down when we pressure wash it. Very nice. And to uh, put it up just as uh, the main bag part, and then this uh, the tail, all water flows through that. Okay. And goes right into the bucket. the little hook and one of these uh, slits right here. Usually the third one is the most optimal. Okay. And then, and then it just hooks right up to the side. Sometimes a little slit comes out. Ah. Uh, take that second and then put this one in. Hangs up right on the side. Gotta tuck that under there a little bit. And then that's a fully hang. I just gotta fix this. It's um, a heavy duty formula and nice and it's uh, pleasantly scented and environmentally friendly, biodegradable. Just spray the spray the pieces with their good old green clean, nice and environmentally friendly, good for the environment, heavy duty cleaner. 
make sure I get all these small areas right here where the fuzz builds up the most. It's usually always on these inside pieces and I get the most. Normally on like the outside you don't see as much but if you look on the inside, sure. Like right, right in there. Gotcha. That's where you see most of the fuzz. And that doesn't really open up either, I don't think, does it? So you got to reach in. Yep. Yeah. yeah. When you uh, dry it off, you got to reach. Yeah. Reach a towel in there and. Gotcha. What a lot of hidden dirt. Yep. Yeah. Uh, outside of it. Top of it. Screens don't look too terribly bad. Yeah, they've been cleaned about every three months. Yeah, definitely, uh, that only winter use definitely helps. Yeah, that and you do suck. need to clean these screens every now and again. Uh, not wait a few years. So that, uh, the main thing about the, between the winter and summer is that, um, in the summer there's the moisture from the cool and the dry, um, and just the overall moisture in the air. That will, all the dirt and dust that get sucked up with the unit will get, like, sucked together from the moisture. Ah. That will, Stick to the fan fan wheel a bit more, yeah, and cause it to be uh, more dirty than usual. Just the, the winter, because the... you already see all the the dirt getting the cleaner mixed with the dirt, all starting to fall right. off. Cause it really starts breaking down that dirt pretty quickly. Yeah, that's pretty good. You gotta. Make sure I get that top that's going towards the front. Get oh, that, yeah. Get that fuzz right there. Little corner. There's a lot of little tiny, like, corners and places where the, the fuzz can get trapped. We're going to be using a uh, battery-powered uh, pressure washer, and it's uh, made by uh, Speed Clean, the same group. And there's uh, more labeling on this side right here. Oh, wow. Coil jet model. A uh, pretty neat machine. We can use it inside and outside. Yeah. And uh, even has, sometimes we carry up a ladder and even has a nice shoulder strap. Ah. Put it on your shoulder and carry up a ladder. Let's... Uh, dirt off. These sides. Come off. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that was dirty. Bring that up. Yeah, getting these little tight spots in here. Sometimes the fuzz <laughs> likes to resist the pressure washer and stick to different different parts of the plastic. I can definitely feel like a lot more sunlight's going through it now. <laughs> it sure is. A lot so that wasn't that clean, was it? <laughs> yeah, this one. Oh, look at that. I really get all that dirt out of there. I got a nice small film of dirt, but not nothing too bad. You can see in this bottom part right here. Oh the, yeah, slight, we can see it. The slight brown it, but it all comes right off. This does a much better cleaning job than I did. And this pressure washer can really get all that, all that uh, stuck on dirt right off of it. Good to go. There's fuzz that the pressure washer doesn't get off. So going back through it with a towel to dry it off, you can find any any of that fuzz that might have stuck on there. That piece is looking good. This piece moves this one up. 
if I can get right at this one. Rub this down, get this all nice and dry. And that fuzz is like the work. Uh, if it's just dirt, it's, it's pretty easy to spray the dirt off, but fuzz is a little extra <laughs> challenge slash annoyance when the fuzz gets wet and gets like wraps around different parts of the unit and it becomes hard to spray. Why sometimes you need a good towel. In there, get that water on the inside. You don't want to leave too much water in there. Oh, this looks pretty good. Did you hear with the hose recently? Uh, a probably a couple months ago. Spray in here, and over here, yeah, spray the coil. The most important part. There's a layer of film over the coil, then the unit you know, will start to lose some heat and so, so we're getting in behind it right now, and, uh, trying to get the coil clean. Doesn't look too bad overall. Oh, good. Hope it didn't break. <laughs> Actually, a lot of these stuck in here sometimes. Uh, lay those out. There's a coil on the back that we can't see from this view, but that's what's being cleaned. Oh yeah, a big difference. Wow. This is a fan wheel right now, which we can't see, but it's underneath. So when I turn the unit on, all the water that's coming from the fan will spray into this. Oh, okay. Get that initial water spray out, so you don't want to take the bib off quite yet until you get all that excess water sprayed out. And if you just take one of these screws and set it right into this, into the switch right here, it'll keep the switch depressed. So okay. you'll be able to turn the unit on and operate it while the powered on. I'm going to turn it to the fan to get that initial water blowed out and uh, 
you can, uh, you can see how uh, much came out of it in the bucket right here. There's a good amount. You definitely see wow. a bit of a bit of build up in there. And that was clean water when you started. Yeah. Wow. Good job. Overall, not too bad. Not too much water in there, but together right here, and then grab the main part, and then you can grab them all right there with one hand. Well, they look like new. Uh, beautiful cleaning job. Thank you. A little trusty towel. To Wipe this down. It's all nice and dry. And it's always good if um, you lift up the louvers at all. You always want to lift up from the right side because that's where the motor is underneath. Take the old bib down and swap those. Put that right inside. Get that right inside and fold it, fold it right in. And just make sure this goes all in. And we'll just slide it right back in the bucket. Make sure these gray pieces are nice and in there. And then start with this piece right here. Make sure this goes in first. Want to make sure that little notch lines up with that, uh, with those pipes right there. And this side just pops right in. There we go. Put these three screws in. Screw covers on to cover up the screws. Helps prevent dirt from getting up in these little places. Now we're ready for the big part. This slides up when the unit's drying up, then we turn it on after this. Sure that part's right there, and then just click that right in. Make sure that's all in, and then these two pieces right here, you want to make sure to click those in, or else the cover won't. And then get the good old cover. And make sure this is folded in like that. And just slide it back loose. Got a few more stragglers right there, I see. Those fuzz and water don't mix all the time. Okay. We need to click these up into place. Put that kickstand up. Okay. Put these two screws in. Put 
fan down and gently close this and press down on the left and on the right to make sure that's clicked in. And give this a good wipe. And it's looking good. And just gotta put this part of the cover back on to cover this part. Back on with the fan and it'll dry out within an hour. Thank you. Uh, wonderful job, Will. Uh, just like new. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Everything's looking good. Right. And uh, good for the heating season. Thanks. Appreciate it. Cool.